Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how you can monitor your MacBook's battery very closely. So I've been a PowerBook and MacBook user for years. And one of the things we have to worry about is, of course, the batteries. We've got to replace them every once in a while, monitor their condition, and also keep tabs on how much power is left if we're not plugged into the wall. So there's actually a really good way to do this that most people don't know about. In the System Profiler, which is an application that comes with your Mac, you can go ahead and monitor very closely exactly how much power your battery has right now, how much total capacity is, and how much you're using. So you run the System Profiler and look for the power settings and then look for battery information under that. And that gives you a whole bunch of different information that you can use to monitor your battery. So one of the first things you want to look at is the condition. Now it should say good. Good is the standard. It means your battery is operating fine. If it says anything other than good, then you probably have a problem with your battery and you want to get it replaced or take it into the Apple Store. Now, next thing you want to look at is you want to look at the remaining charge capacity and the full charge capacity. So the full charge capacity is actually a moving number. It's telling you how much charge your computer thinks your battery has when it's fully charged. So as the battery gets older, this number is going to get lower. So you can track it, maybe even keep notes and see how your battery is wearing over the months. And the remaining charge capacity tells you how much is in there right now. Now, in this case, it's plugged in and fully charged, so the number should match. Now the next thing you want to go ahead and look at is the cycle count. Now the cycle count is basically how many times your battery has been fully charged. Now Apple says that a battery that's been charged about 300 times is starting to get old. So you're going to start to see degradation of service at about 300. Um, if your battery is much, much older than that, you want to probably make plans to start to get a new one. So here's what it looks like when you unplug your MacBook from power. First thing you notice is that the remaining charge will actually start to decrease, of course, and be less than the full charge as it's shown here. The other thing is that the amperage now is a negative number. Instead of power flowing into the battery, power is leaving the battery. Now this number is something that you can really closely monitor. For instance, if you turn down the brightness on your computer, this number will drop. Now System Profiler doesn't update automatically. What you need to do is hit Command R with the System Profiler showing and you'll see the number change. It takes a few seconds for a change to have effect. So in other words, turn your brightness down. It takes about 5 or 10 seconds for you to see a new number under amperage. But the cool thing is that you can really monitor your battery power usage. So for instance, say you're on a long plane trip and you want to stretch that battery power out. You can see what happens when, say, you lower the brightness, what happens if you're playing music and you play at a lower volume, uh, if you quit certain applications, what happens if you're viewing some sort of animation or video. You'll see all these changes reflected as long as you keep hitting Command R and waiting a few seconds to see the changes take effect. Then you can kind of figure out an optimum solution. For instance, if you're just doing some simple writing, maybe you'll figure out the lowest brightness you can stand and an application that uses the least amount of battery power as possible to stretch out the amount of time that you have on your battery on a long plane trip. Now if you'd rather not use the System Profiler but maybe a third party application, there's a lot out there. For instance, iStat and iStat Pro both show this type of information there in various formats. You can get it and it's free at iSlayer.com. There's also a variety of other third party applications that will monitor your battery, giving you basically the same information you see in the System Profiler but maybe a little easier for you to access. Now all the new MacBooks have new batteries of course and the 17 inch and of course the MacBook Air have batteries that are not really removable although it turns out that you can actually open up the case and remove them or get easy replacements at the Apple Store. It's just that you can't really swap them on the fly. So this type of application is going to be more valuable than ever just to make sure you know exactly how much power you've got and how old your battery is getting and whether it's going to be worth trying to get a replacement for it. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.